Okay, let's do it. Oleg Maximyuk. My name is Oleg Maximyuk, and this is interviewing myself video year number two. Let's go, I'm super excited. Today is January 9th, 2023. It's January 9th, 2024. I am 21. I'm 22. Right now, I'm in Milan, Italy. I'm in Milan, Italy still, but this time I live here. This is my apartment. And a year ago, I used to live in a different city that is 30 kilometers away from Milan. On Instagram, I have 47.4 thousand followers. 108,983 followers. And I'm kind of losing followers. <laughs> I kind of worry about that, but on the other hand, who cares? Fortunately, this time I can say that I'm gaining followers and it's so crazy that it's twice more than the previous year. I'm super grateful. 7.5 on YouTube. 7.4 on YouTube. You see, uh, here I am losing followers a little bit, but no wonders, I am posting once in a couple of months. But I just hope to get more videos this year. And 7.9 on TikTok. 19.8 on TikTok. I am not posting on TikTok either, so... I still gained some. <laughs> some followers, it's good. It's a little bit more than 28,000 likes. This time is a real video which has 6 million views and 952,000 likes. Almost 1 million likes. Crazy. Since I moved to Italy, I've been recognized like three times. I wouldn't say that I got recognized more often. Uh, for the last year, it was like five times, I guess. But every time, it's still very nice to see you, talk with you. So if you see me, you can come and say hi. I will be glad. I would say appreciate more and be grateful for everything that you have because you are very blessed. Don't push yourself, don't push your life, events in your life because everything comes in the right time. And also take care of your physical health. Don't take it for granted. Uh, you know how it feels bad when you feel sick. So just like take care of yourself. I worked with Calvin Klein. Oh my God, like that is, that was one of my biggest goals. Recent achievement is that I worked with Asian brands since I am in Italy. That was my first international project. Probably one of the main achievements is 100,000 followers on Instagram. I was dreaming about this number for a long time. It's not that numbers are too important, but it's still very nice to know that 100,000 people appreciate what you are doing, what you are putting out to the world. I worked with Diesel on Itsuka Tiger. I visited Dior after party and presentation. I visited my first ever fashion show. And how crazy that I captured the moment when I was invited to this show during filming the interview. <laughs> I just got the invitation for family first show. Oh my God. Definitely grateful, but always feel like nothing is enough, unfortunately. So I'm gonna try to do better this year, even more. Lord of the Rings, still definitely my most favorite movie ever. And movie of the year, Barbie. Barbie is a very good movie. I know you've been waiting for this one. I am currently not, and yes, I have been in relationship. No, I am not in relationship right now, and I haven't been in one last year. Still single and enjoying my presence, <laughs> relationships with myself. Probably that nothing is permanent and life can change like this and you can never predict your future for 100%. That's crazy that I said that because actually this year I am not 
controlling things that much in my life anymore. I didn't know what to expect from this year and it was much more beyond that I could have ever expected. That you don't have to hide any emotions. They are all important to live through. They are all important to be felt. And even if you try to hide them, pretend that you don't feel them, it's not gonna work. You have to feel this emotion for 100% so it doesn't bother you anymore. And it also works with positive emotions because sometimes you don't wanna feel too excited because you are scared to feel too excited or society tells you to calm down. Like, calm down. <laughs> no, it's like, just feel your emotion the fullest. Bali. Switzerland and Paris. Let's see, um, last year I did visit Paris and Disneyland, it was one of the greatest trips ever. I didn't visit Bali, I didn't visit Switzerland, but I did visit Budapest, Saint-Tropez, Barcelona, Copenhagen, what else? Portofino. So I don't feel bad that I didn't visit those countries because I had even more than I expected. This time I still want to visit Paris because actually I wasn't impressed by Paris that much but after you're like oh my god I want to go back so much so Paris for sure, Bali still and Maldives. I just want to go to tropical countries and lie under the sun. Probably this tone of blue. Like this right second, on a scale from 1 to 10, I feel 10. But in general, probably 6.5. I actually thought that my score was much higher. I didn't remember it was 6.5. That seems so low. But yes, 2022 for me was insane. On this right second, I still feel 10 out of 10. In general speaking, I feel 8.5 out of 10. I don't know what to add, my life just feels so good. Uh, I feel blessed, I feel amazing, I feel that everything is coming, everything is happening, everything in the process. And comparing to last year, I feel more balanced, stable with myself, with my self-esteem and just life in general. So that's great. Maybe my puffer jacket. I still love that jacket. I don't really buy a lot of clothes, actually, but recently I got this coat. So maybe that one, because it's very beautiful. Yeah, let's say that one. I discovered a lot of new music last year and it's so unusual for me because I just listen to all the same artists and all the same songs all the time. I even made this playlist on Spotify. I'm gonna leave you the link in the description. Oh, I know this song, The Aces always get this way. It's such a cute story because I was in Budapest on music festival and I discovered this band there and this song brings me so much memories from this music festival so definitely that one. Intimidated by her and Keitra Nada and Samuel Barber Adagio Four Strings. Holy shit. I really like Harry Styles this year. I opened his music to myself. Oh my god, I said Harry Styles previous time. A couple of months ago, I was like, oh, I love Harry Styles. I love Harry Styles. He's one of my favorite artists now. And the favorite artist is still Ariana Grande for sure. No doubt. Love her, love her music. And oh my God, the day I'm gonna post this video, January 12th, she released the new song. Physically, still no. Uh, I am even more comfortable with my height. And also, I've been working out a lot the previous year, so my body looks amazing. I love it. Thank you for looking so good. But let's not only talk about physics. Oh, I know one thing that I would like to change. Not wait till the last point. What I mean by that, when I felt sick last year physically my skin was scratching i didn't visit the doctor for a couple of months i was just torturing myself i couldn't sleep but i somehow didn't go to see the doctor so i would say make your ideas come true to life faster you have idea do it you have an idea to write an email to some brand do it you want to have a photo shoot do it don't wait like a month or two unknown pop star and different my salary right now is probably one 
classy slash old money let's pretend it's one word have no fucking idea and pop star for this year i still hope to have more pop star energy looks in my life still love the sparkling things want to wear them more some maybe custom dolce gabbana or mugler you know it sounds so surreal to say it because like oh my god that's crazy but you know would love to somehow this year i don't really care how i look i just put things on what i feel comfortable to put on and that's it i don't know mm, probably ariana grande <laughs> did i meet ariana grande no do i still want it yes I don't think that I have someone in particular that I would like to meet. I just want to meet nice, kind, enthusiastic people that are interested in self-development and having fun in life. So I guess we can keep the Ariana Grande answer. I probably have to delete this question because I'm not gonna say the name anytime soon, probably, or maybe one year I will. I do have one celebrity crush actually right now. The name starts with letter D and this her name starts with letter S. So go Sherlock Holmes, try to find it out who that was. I have no clue. I just want to experience stuff. I just want to be open and like spontaneous, crazy. <laughs> In fact, I was spontaneous, I was crazy, I was open to things, and I was experiencing things, so I guess the goal complete. Actually, I never make goals for one year, I just write them down for my whole life. I can't say that I want to achieve it this year, but it would be nice. Working with really good talent agency, work more with brands that I love, Dior, Prada, Fendi, Tommy Hilfiger, Kellen Klein, still love you still want to work with you as much as possible oh and let's say learn italian this year i feel like i want to start learning italian i like this language i want to speak with people here in italian not in english anymore so yeah learn italian for sure 100 percent yes the moment when i fell in love for the first time. If we are talking about moment from the last year, I would say music festival in Budapest. It was so, so cool. After I was thinking about it all the time and I was like, oh my God, Budapest trip was one of the best ones. The crazy story is that I had a tattoo appointment in Barcelona on my birthday, but I just canceled the last minute because I was like, no, actually I, I'm not ready, I don't want to have a tattoo. And kind of the same thing with blonde hair. I still have this idea, I still don't mind, maybe this year again, but don't really have big desire to do it. Oh my god, it's a little crazy one. I don't even know if I want to put it in, because that's the part of me that I, <laughs> that I don't really show online. Um, I don't know, um, um, okay, I'm gonna give two options, if I feel that I want to cut it out while editing, I will do it. It's Arctic and Asti, and the song is called Nidilima. Nidilima, star boy, star boy, star boy. Yeah, amazing song, amazing album, amazing artists, um, that's the last song I listened to. Okay, <laughs> let's say more safe version in case I feel like I'm not ready to put that out. The last song I listened to was Alien Superstar by Beyonce. And that's pretty unusual for me as well because I'm not a fan of Beyonce. I don't, I don't think that I like any of her songs. But this one, Alien Superstar, is a really, really good one. Um, too classy for this world. I'm, I'm the girl. It just makes you feel like very special and unique. Oh my god, what have I done for the first time this year? I've been to music festival. Yes, Ziggit Music Festival in Budapest. Oh my god, that was so good. I've seen Lord, Girl in Red, Billie Eilish. I've been to a lot of cities for the first time. Uh, I've been to Disneyland for the first time, also super super nice. I did spend my birthday in a country where 
I don't live, so I live in Italy right now, but I spent my birthday in Spain, in Barcelona. Don't give up on your career stuff that you want to achieve, but don't only concentrate on working. And please, I know it is hard for you, but just try to think less and do more. Try to concentrate on the process and enjoying the process, being in the moment, not being anxious that result is not coming as fast as you want. Continue to build your self-esteem, self-worth and self-love and keep trusting yourself, your life, the world because everything guides you in the best place. Oh my god, okay, that's it. Um, second year done. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being in my life, spending and sharing these memories and events with me. And I also hope to spend the next year with you as well. So I guess I'm gonna see you next year. It's not that I'm not gonna post any more videos, but um, in this type of videos, I will see you next year. So let's have an amazing year, everyone who is watching and me including. Uh, I love you. I appreciate you, I'm very grateful, and yeah.